It really shouldn't be so hard to be able to come back to something that you love so much. Ah, Tate, you're doing well. I'm so glad. And Lily, you're here with your little toy. And Puppy the Duck is hanging out in the corner here as usual. That duck is so adorable. Ah, uh, Alia, Devin, Iris. I think I even see a little pine hiding down here. Oh my gosh. And it's a little chips again. It's another little chips. Oh. <laughs> You guys haven't changed at all, even if I have, and I am so glad to see all of you. I'm so glad to see all of this, all of all of the home, all the details of what we've created, all of the little dog toys sitting around, my big garden, my big shed just full of seeds waiting to be sorted and given away as gifts. I am so glad to be home. Hey, hey, actually, Lily, Tate, would you two please accompany me? We're going to go up to the uh, Garden of Eden and just spend... A minute up there, <sighs> remembering all of the great adventures we've gone on, and I sound way too sad. I sound way too sad for a joyous occasion. So, without further ado, everybody, hello and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri, and we are back here in my yard getting ready to return to the zoo. And yes, it's been a very, very long time. And so today is going to be one of those kind of rambly episodes where we sort of go around and just take a little bit of time to see what projects we have been working on Tate. Was that really necessary? Was that Tate or Lily? Which one? It was Lily. Lily, was that really necessary to go swimming in the dirt? You're adorable, Lily. You're adorable. We'll have to have you meet some of the dirt dogs pretty soon. But yeah, today is going to be one of those days where we just kind of walk around and I ramble a little bit. If you guys want to hold off and wait until we actually start working on the zoo again, then come back tomorrow and everything should be back to normal but I thought you guys deserve an explanation and I deserve to be able to come up with an explanation for where I've been and why zoo crafting which is the backbone of everything I've ever done in building our beautiful community in fact I feel like going and checking out our flowers so all right we're gonna hug the darling hello one of my mini darlings hello little quill I definitely want to get that situation resolved, like for real. Oh my goodness, and I think we've got some mail. Oh, Agent Noodles, I'm so happy to see you too. And we're going to look at the mail in just a moment, because I need to be able I need to be able to get this over with. I need to be able to talk about this. I need to be able to come back to zoo crafting. I need to be able to look at my, teleportion, uh, my teleportation chameleon. I need to be able to look at the beautiful cotton, and I need everything to be okay. Because everything in my life has not been okay lately. And you guys know that, and... I kept waiting. I kept waiting. Oh, it feels good to be back in the garden. I kept waiting for everything to become okay. I kept waiting for things to get better. And then once things got better, once my heart didn't feel so unusual in my chest, once I felt like I had the energy and the stamina and the ability to catch up on the endless amount of to-do list that I have for Zudasia, once I was able to add in every single person who has like donated or every single person who has been an NPC, once I was able to plant all of their trees, then I would get started on zoo crafting again. For sure, that was the, that was the thought that kept going on and on and on in my head. I thought, once I have enough energy, once I don't feel so weird in my own skin. But that didn't happen, Nightlock. I still feel kind of weird in my own skin. And I'm not sure how to explain it. I mean, I didn't think that my grandma dying would affect me so deeply. She was 90 years old, Lily. 90 years old. And... Mm, and I'm so proud of everything I've done in zoo crafting. I'm so proud of looking at each one of our trees and being able to remember the adventures. And you know what? The prehistoric discoveries tree, that was made, I think, while I was with my grandpa and he was passing away. And I still soldiered on and I still had what I needed to keep coming back and continue making more and more memories. And every single day I showed up and every single day I didn't have myself overwhelmed with this sense of doubt and fear. And I was just able to do, I was able to adventure, I was able to create adventures. And sometimes they were silly and sometimes they felt pointless. And sometimes it was just me running around collecting flowers, but it still did something. It still made memories to share with all of you and I have absolutely no regrets about that I never will I mean look at that I need to expand our nymphia garden tremendously tremendously like several hundred more nymphias we've had like 300 more people just since yesterday that's three more nymphias to plant and that just blows my mind 
And I'm so confused when I look at these beautiful flowers. I look at the tree of light. I look at the physical representations of all the adventures we've gone on, why it's been so hard to come back. And all I can say is that I felt so weird, you guys. I feel like I don't fit in my own skin lately. And I think it's because... <sighs> I think it's because I'm still trying to understand what happened. I'm still trying to figure out how I unite <laughs> Tate, my little pixelated dog. How I unite the changes that have gone on in my life and the loss of my grandmother and the fact we're getting ready to move and, and the way our community has changed and grown so tremendously with zoo crafting, which has been there for me for so many years now. That's what I meant by this is kind of a rambly episode. How do I jump back in? I don't, I don't want to stay away any longer. And the reason I have stayed away so long is because I don't want to disappoint you guys. And that paralyzed me. <laughs> so this is a good conversation to have for those perfectionists among us. I became paralyzed because I don't want to disappoint anyone. And the bigger our community has gotten, and the more things I have to do on the to-do list, and the more people who want to plant trees, and the more NPCs we have to add in, and the more I'm trying to juggle the adventures, and just my own sense of fun and discovery with our world, and all of our unique mods, and all of the things I want to do with the fact that we're supposed to be building a zoo, and I get that done at a glacial pace. The more I tried to kind of resolve all of that at once, the more paralyzed I became about everything. And suddenly I wasn't making anything. Suddenly I felt like if it wasn't 100% perfect for you guys, if it wasn't this whiz bang like special effects, beautiful just journey with plots and who knows what else, I just couldn't come back. And then it hit me as the days went by and the weeks went by and still I hadn't returned to this beautiful world. The thing that made this what we love isn't me sitting down for hours and painstakingly building plots and painstakingly trying to weave together all sorts of fantastic stories or make mods do super special, never before seen stuff. The thing that made zoo crafting and what it is and what it has become is just 100% simply showing up and, and having fun and loving what we do sincerely. And I... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the zoo built very fast, Lily. I don't know if I'm going to be able to impress you guys with all of our little storylines. I, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. But I know I can't just stand here anymore, terrified, so scared, with wanting it to be perfect for all of you that I can't do anything. When it's zoo crafting. It's goofy zoo crafting. It's, it's Siri making tea some days because that's all I want to do some days. Is just like pick berries and make tea and take presents to our friends. That's what zoo crafting is. And of course I really hope it can become building things too. I really really sincerely hope it can grow into becoming like expanding our zoo for real. And actually having the safari zone built and getting those national forests built where we breed and release the animals. But the longer I sit here trying to think about those big fancy things and making it happen, the more paralyzed I become. And so I'm just going to start showing up again because this really is the home of my heart, you guys. I know I've talked about that again and again and again. And I know I'm rambling. I warned you guys in my defense, this is the rambling episode. This is my time to kind of just be blunt and honest and tell you guys how zoo crafting is united in my heart how all of these details i know i've built and it's been a long time it's been years of work building this and i just kept thinking it has to be bigger it has to be better it has to be the best i have to find ways to like impress everybody like impress the socks off them and I, it's not enough it's not enough i need to do something fancier like you started i started thinking like that and the next thing i knew like nothing Nothing was getting done anymore. And that's not part of the adventure. That's not part of just the sincere fun of what we've created together. So I don't know how to explain it to you guys other than say that. that that's why I haven't been here. That's why I haven't just been going, Oh my gosh, look at my little soybean field. It's so cute. Where is pudding? I need to find pudding. Because there's so many things to do on our to-do list. And I feel like I never get them done. And I know people get frustrated about that. But 
I thought too much about the way people, what people think about that to the point where I stopped coming at all because I, I was so petrified of what there still was to do. I don't want that, you guys. I don't want that because that didn't create the opportunity. Not showing up. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't want to make big fancy adventures and I'm not saying I don't want to do more than just like spin days picking soybeans out of our soybean field. I'm not saying I don't want to build a gigantic zoo filled with so many different areas where we can learn more about the natural world. But I think it's time for me to just admit and explain to you guys that yes, we're zoo crafting. And yes, I am working on building a zoo. But zoo crafting has been with me for two and a half, almost three years. And that means it is more than just that goal. That means it is my memories of building this little campground with Ben. That means it is my memories of when Anasia was on the server and part of just, just such a beautiful community and, and her creativity. And that means being able to go and visit all of our friends and give, give gifts. It's, it's not just zoo building. And I kept getting petrified into thinking it had to be. It had to be. It had to be educational. I had to be at the top of my game. And the other thing, like, that's fine. That's fine, Lillian Tate, for some things. I mean, that's fine for some projects. I hope you guys have seen how much work has been going into, like, when we do do Dog Quest, when we do special things like that, I really throw myself into it and put a lot of effort into it and try to put real stories into it. But the thing is, we show up every single day here, Tate. That's the ideal, is showing up every single day. And so some days those adventures are going to be serious, and some days they're going to be educational, and some days we'll actually make progress on the things that we have to do, and some days we won't. But I think that's kind of a good lesson in any kind of procrastination. When you stand at the edge of doing something, and you feel like it has to be so perfect, you can't move forward, then by not showing up, I've made it so that nothing happens instead of at least something happens. And I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be part of this world. And I can't promise you guys it'll be what you're looking for in zoo crafting. But I can promise you I'm going to just follow my heart and do my best. And, and let it become whatever it becomes. And stop trying to force it into being what I think it should be and to just go with the flow more, Lily. Because it's us. It's us. It's our our world. It's our community. It's it's your ideas. It's your generosity. It's my happiness. It's our adventures come to life. And the fact they haven't been here for so long. It really does break my heart. And my heart feels really weird because I don't know what life is supposed to be like. I, I Somehow, my grandma is just part of all of this tied up together. But, and I, I know I've been so scared of disappointing all of you and not having zoo crafting being what you want it to be <laughs> that I ended up being too scared to do anything. So that's what I mean. I don't know where we're going. I don't know how I'll do. And I don't know if we're gonna take forever to continue our builds. And I don't know if I'm gonna get sidetracked by a million adventures. But after two and a half years, I think it's time for me to admit that's just the way we are. <laughs> and that's the way I love things. And yeah, so I'm going to do my best just to let it become whatever it will in the spirit of love and friendship and creativity and, and passionate hard work about the things that we love and enjoy of this world. So there's that, my little ramble speech, and I feel so much better. I feel like my heart has slipped back into place where it needed to be, and I'm not scared to be here anymore, and I'm not intimidated to be here, and I know I'm probably going to make some of you guys unhappy with where it will go from here and what we'll do, even though it's just going to be the same as always. Adventures and getting sidetracked and adorable little side quests and story arcs and all of that. And part of my world and my joy of showing up here every single day and just bringing this place to life. If I'm not here, it's not there for you guys. And mm, that means a lot to me. It's kind of like fairies, I guess. You know, you're supposed to believe in fairies. And if you believe in fairies, then they're real. Well, if I believe in zoo crafting, I need to show up and I need to make it real by being here. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> So, there we go. You guys know now why I've been taking so long to get here. Because I don't want to disappoint you all. And because I'm worried I'm going to. 
And when there's almost 70,000 of us now, there's a good darn chance that I am going to, no matter what I do. But we're here, and we're going to resume the adventure, and I'm not going to look back, and I'm not going to have any regrets, and we're just going to go forward from here and do what we can, Lily. I don't care if I have a million side like quests and tasks and, and to-do lists that never get done, even though I'm going to do my best. I just need to remember that the whole goal and the whole beauty of this and the world and the life that I've created both here and in my real life because of you guys and because of zoo crafting and the way it launched so much success and support and love in my life, I just need to remember that the point is to stay curious and be happy and go on adventures and be kind. And everything else is just cherries on top of the cake. And hopefully we'll have lots of educational cherries on top of the cake. And I'll be able to get started on everything again. But, <sighs> alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and actually clear out. If I can. Oh my goodness, Arctic. <laughs> oh my goodness, Pavo. Oh my gosh. We've got a couple letters from our friends here. So let's go ahead and read them. And then I will clear everything out tomorrow. And then we'll just get started. And I have no idea what we're going to do. And I'm not going to hold myself to this high standard of, of zoo crafting special expertise. I'm just going to be here and go on adventures and have fun. And bring all of you with me. Because I love this world. And I love our community. And I love you guys. And that's what it's all about. So, all right. Well... Let's go ahead and we'll read our mail in the morning and I will see you guys then and thank you for letting me get that all off my chest and let my heart go back to where it needed to be. And we'll just move forward from here and have a wonderful time doing it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye guys.